welcome to a new video. I just got back from a New York City photo shoot trip where I used the Canon R5 mirrorless camera paired with the RF lenses, the 51.2 and the 85 1.2. This has all been kindly loaned to me by KEH Camera, which I'll talk about in a second. So the camera that I own is a 5D Mark IV and I love it and I did bring that one with me as a backup but then also for my 35 and my 24 so I could use that camera if those kinds of shots were necessary. I previously lived in New York City. I went to school there for a year and then I lived there for about a year and a half so it's really fun to be able to go back there shoot for Saturday, Sunday, Friday, maybe Monday before I leave, and then be able to come back here to my home in Seattle. So the next time I'll be in New York City and booking is in July. Here are the dates. And if you're interested, just head to jessicawhitaker.co slash book or click the link in the description box below. If I have a little bit of a lisp, it's actually because I got Invisalign finally, but I'm gonna talk about that um, we're gonna be working backwards a little bit. I'm gonna talk first about my trip and then I'll share about Invisalign because I think most people are gonna be more interested about um, the gear that I shot with. The R5, this camera, I hate to say it, I hate to say it because I love my Mark IV and I do not have the budget to upgrade and to purchase this myself. I'm just loaning it, but it made my editing so much faster because of the focusing alone. So you have the traditional focus settings, but there's a setting you can put it in where it will automatically detect the entire outline of your subject. So you're not just having to put the focus point on the face, but rather it detects them completely. It's incredible and it ensures that you do not miss a shot and then also that you can take less images saving you more time in the workflow and editing process it also handled backlighting so much better than the mark IV. so overall for the r5 it was such a smooth experience and it just saved me so much time editing especially when i'm doing these photo shoot trips where i have like nine sessions back to back and i want to have that quick turnaround time um, for these i actually adjusted my turnaround time to be two weeks I delivered in about a week, um, whereas before I was giving like 48 hours, 72 hour max, but I found that that just was not sustainable for me. But with the help of the R5, I was able to deliver in about a week, week and a half max, but I still put two weeks in the contract. Here is the camera itself, the R5, and this is from KEH. And would you believe me if I told you that this camera is actually used? So KEH camera is where you can buy, sell, and trade in camera equipment for a fraction of the cost if you were to buy it new directly from the retailer. So with this R5, it was in excellent plus condition, but look at, it looks unused other than the few smudge marks just from my own um, self, but nothing about it cosmetically is disrupted. Neither is the actual functionality of the camera. So that's the, um, the R5. And now I wanna show you guys the lenses, which are both in excellent plus condition as well. So here is the 51.2 RF and look at this looks untouched nothing about it has any scratches on it like i said you know there's a little bit of my like foundation i'll be wiping that off before i return it but there's really no reason to buy new especially if you're looking to upgrade from something like the mark IV, like myself to a mirrorless camera buying used might enable you to upgrade to the r5 versus getting the r6 because you are saving money or you could put that money that you would be spending on, you know, one step down the R6 with the R5 because now you could afford the R5 since you bought it um, used. So look at this glass, not a scratch on it. This is the 85 1.2. I love this lens so much. It's so amazing. Um, okay, so this was like my combination. KEH is where you can buy and you can sell used camera equipment. They've also rolled out a repair program within the last year or so, and you can also uh, trade in your gear. So when it comes to buying on buying used gear on like a social media marketplace or within a social media group or a third party auction site, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. You don't know what you're spending your money on. You're blindly trusting a listing that somebody is sharing. And 
if they're motivated to sell, which they are to, you know, bring in money for whatever reason, they might not be 100% honest about the quality that you are receiving. Every single item that goes through KEH is thoroughly quality inspected. So you know exactly what you're putting your money into. These lenses and the R5 were in excellent plus condition. KEH transparently ranks every piece of equipment. So if you want something to be basically brand new, you could opt for excellent plus but if you want to save a couple extra hundred dollars you could go all the way down to bargain so whatever tier you go between bargain and excellent plus there aren't going to be any issues with focusing or the glass no scratches on the glass itself but bargain would have some cosmetic scratches on it but it doesn't affect the actual picture quality if you're interested kh will be linked down below as well as those coupon codes and it's a great resource to also just bookmark for later and like i said i'm going to be coming back to new york city in july here are the dates if you're interested in booking a photo shoot then head to jessicawhitaker.co slash book this will also be linked in the description box below and i would love to work with you now i want to actually talk to you guys about my invisalign so we're going to rewind a few days um, so I can share about that experience and then I have a photo shoot today at the studio and I'm gonna pack for that today is the day I'm getting Invisalign I had my first appointment well my only appointment I believe three and a half weeks ago today's the day they already did the scans everything um, today is when they're installing the little beads on my teeth so then the Invisalign trays can hook onto them. So I think it should be fairly simple. They did say that the appointment could be an hour and a half long. In my previous video, I gave a big kind of update and rundown about why I'm getting Invisalign. So you can definitely watch that, but essentially it's so that it will correct my bite. It, I'm just like so proud of myself that I'm able to give myself this opportunity. I'm back from my <laughs> Invisalign appointment and I have <laughs> I have the small, like the little bit of a lisp. I have a lisp. Um, okay, they <laughs> they said that it will it will go away in like four days, and the <laughs> and the best thing I can do, <laughs> can't even like I can. Okay, the best thing I can do is to read all of my emails aloud to myself, oh. um, because it will tell my tongue that this little like extra millimeter is okay and it's normal. And so I'll go back to talking how I always talk. Um, okay, let me show you what it looks like. Now I was curious how the gap would look um, with the plastic over it. So it doesn't look like plaque on my teeth. I was looking at photos online um and it just looked horrible it looked like there was like this this film of plaque over people's teeth but um yeah it doesn't really look like that at all to me it low-key gives me a little bit of injection okay work um i no longer have to use my mouth guard at night to sleep in which also gives me like a major injection so i'm <laughs> so happy about this okay so I'm gonna take them off um, and they gave me like a bag of stuff for the setup. This is just my orthodontist, it's not. You guys, if this was paid by Invisalign, I would love that, I'd be screaming that from the heavens. Um, okay, so process was super simple. It was, I'm very squeamish. I hate going to the doctor and I really don't like the dentist because the dentist is even worse than the doctor because you can hear everything and it's so much more sensitive. This side of my teeth is really sensitive, um, but getting the chip filled in by my dentist was worse than the Invisalign process. So basically they just like open up your teeth, they dry it off, they put glue on it, and then they bond the glue um, on with like a black light, which it only got really warm on like this tooth, one of my front teeth, um, and it was really easy process. So. If you're squeamish like myself, you hate going to any kind of doctor's appointments, it's not scary, um, the process itself. It's gonna be different at every orthodontist, but they were so chill. So they gave me, I like monitor it through, I monitor, see my list, it through an app. Um, 
And with that app, I have to do the funniest thing ever. I literally have to do videography here. So, you guys. So they gave me this box. Dental monitoring. So basically this attaches on my phone. And then this attaches on here. And then... <laughs> like, I'm sorry, is this a gimbal? And then this sticks on my mouth. And then, like in the app it scans your mouth so i go back in 12 weeks um and i believe that is when i will be gone through all 20 of trays for the first round no i would have only gone through 12. so about half of them um a little over half and then but but between then i scan it once a week with our old literally videography services so the other funny thing so this is just once a week Okay, the other really funny thing is that I have to, um, where is it? I was literally dying of laughter. Like, I was like, what did I sign up for? I also have to chew these things 30 minutes a day. <laughs> so you have this, it's called a chewy. She's like, you have a chewy for us. So hold up, what's a chewy? And then she's like giving me, so now I'm like doing the chewy. I also like take them out every time I eat, obviously, and now I have to learn videography at the same time. So this, you chew for 30 minutes a day, and you hold, and you not only do that, but you also hold it for five seconds each chew. And basically it's going to, it's just rubber, it's going to um, help press in your trays and you do it once a day 30 minutes here's the invisalign box and i'll show you what my teeth look like with the tray off so you can see how there's like the littlest knobs right here and then i have two here it does feel weird but you can't really see it um and the invisalign is on literally 99% of the day. So I'm feeling really excited about it. We're at the studio. We're in the sunshine room today. This is the best lighting for natural light because it's a corner unit. It's so gorgeous. And I haven't introduced my wonderful new photo assistant, Callie, who's a wedding photographer here in Washington. So I'll have her Instagram on the screen. Callie is so amazing. Wow, 360. <laughs> So she's setting up the backdrop. So this is um, the Savage Universal pop-up backdrop. I talked about it um, back at my house, but it's so awesome for these kind of things. Um, you and you know what? You don't even you don't need to invest in a backdrop if you're shooting in your house where you can just tape it against the wall. That's what I did for when I lived in New York. Um, but with a pop-up stand, it allows you to be able to bring it to places like this where you wouldn't tape it on the wall and also maybe this part of the wall isn't the, like, the best for the lighting. So we kind of have it on an angle to face these two corners. Um, and I haven't been here in over a month, I think like beginning of april was my last time so i'm kind of curious to see what they've updated because um they're always rotating out the rooms with different props and setups and stuff um so maybe i'll take a look at that in a minute but we have everything here and oh i'm so excited too because these shoes match the backdrop i planned it perfectly i got these last year and they're so cute but they're kind of hard to walk in not because of the heel but because of the way that this is like your toes kind of i don't know it's not the most secure um, but yeah so we have everything here we're gonna set it up and then and then ariel is coming to meet up with us. So it's gonna be a really fun shoot. It's gonna be pretty chill and relaxed, um, especially since we're only doing one video today. And we have like a couple different types of videos that we shoot. So sometimes they're just like behind the scenes of a photo shoot, like we'll, what will be today. And I'm kind of giving my commentary as I'm posing the model, but I'm not teaching on anything in particular. And then we have like videos where they are instructional. So like three ways to pose sitting down, something like that. And then the other types would be like lens comparisons or like gear, like gear comparison videos. Um, and so kind of the most relaxed to shoot are these where it's just a behind the scenes of the photo shoot itself and they perform pretty well. So it's a nice one to especially begin out with since they haven't, <clears throat> it's a nice one to begin out with since we haven't shot since 
um, May for you two. The last one we did, I think, was the maternity one, right? And that was kind of behind the scenes. I think, we yeah. Really oh, that's but right, I had. Laura's, okay. So we did Laura's here, and then I did a maternity in May, like on a random Tuesday night or something. So anyways, um, we're back at it for filming YouTube videos. Okay, we're all set up for the most part. So I lost my clamp that clamps the, um, it secures the top of the paper together so that you can have it actually roll forward. <laughs> but I cannot find mine. Callie's looking for a clamp from the studio. Um, but isn't this so cute, you guys? So the last time we shot, we used backdrop paper and then we also shot in this corner. And it's so fun because of all this gorgeous like draping. Um, and then there's a swing that she changes out regularly with like different flowers. So on this side, it's pink flowers, pink and white. And then on this side, it's yellow roses. How cute. And then each studio, each studio has, you guys can see like the, um, let me grab my lipstick and my brush. Um, you can see like all the windows here, it's so bright. So every studio has a bathroom. Um, and actually one downstairs has a tub and everything so your clients can get ready There's typically a steamer in here um, and there's clothing racks. These are all light panels that you can also use So this isn't sponsored. I pay um, full price and everything and I have the 12 hour a month package and what's cool I mean the, this this pricing and like packages can always change right but what's really cool is that you don't have to pay an additional fee some studios operate and there's there's not a right or a wrong way to do it but some studios operate where you pay your membership fee and then you have an additional hourly fee on top of that but here um, you don't have that so that's pretty nice. So like what you pay on your invoice is what you get. And you have all of these different backdrops and just parking is super simple. Yeah, I love it here. Now, um, it's just off of I-5 too, so it's really nice. Okay, so here's kind of like a, here's an overview of the room. Okay, so then you go down this little hallway. Okay, so you can rent different dresses. Um, these are great for maternity sessions, especially. I know she's still like kind of reorganizing this all, but it's so awesome. Like, oh my gosh, there's so many different options. It's super fun. In this area is another space. My favorite aspect are these hand painted backdrops that she did. So it's canvas and then it's like really cool textures. And actually she recently got a spotlight um, that you can use, it's right here. How cool, right? I think that would be a really fun tutorial. And then she's always like changing and painting and rearranging. So this used to be white and she painted it this olive. This is my favorite wall of hers. And then on this side, you have more of the brick texture, the white. So even if you're like, I don't really use props, I don't either, but you can take like, you can move these couches out and then just use these textured simple um, backdrops. And look at, this is new. How cute, like, are you serious right now? That is so, so cute. Maybe I'll have Callie take a photo of me um, here in the pink dress. I love this dress. So, so cute with the pockets. So when I get home, I'm gonna insert the clips of some stuff that I bought recently, like this dress and a couple others from my New York trip. But yeah, so very cute. And they're actually doing a third floor. So we're back in the sunshine room. Okay, here's the reflector. Um, it's like $30 on Amazon, I'll link this one below, and it unzips and you can do a gold. Um, we might not even need it because of how bright it is in this room, but I just love it to illuminate like under the eyes. Ariel just texted us that she's here, so Callie is going and grab it. Ariel is here. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. How amazing is she? <gasps> okay, queen, so beautiful. <laughs> so she brought so many cute clothes to shoot in, and we're gonna start with this cute orangey red dress, so beautiful, especially with the blue backdrop. It's gonna be so fun. Mm. So we're gonna start shooting.
so we're shooting second Luke. And we did a lipstick change, woo! It's so beautiful. We are done with the session. We're all packed up. Here we go. It was such a fun shoot. Um, oh my gosh, I always love working with Ariel. And now I'm going to head home. Hopefully traffic won't be too bad on I-5. Um, and then I have an Orange Theory class at five something. And I'm hoping, I, I have my stuff, I can go directly, but I'm hoping I can pop back um, at home. So anyways, Callie, you did so amazing as always. And again, for the fifth time I've told you guys, her information is down below because she's so amazing. So amazing. I went directly from the studio to Orange Theory and this was my first Orange Theory in like four days. Um, it feels really good to be back. Orange Theory has like a few signature workouts and today was one of those days. So it was good, a lot of cardio, which Orange Theory is like the only reason <laughs> that I do so much cardio. So I'm feeling good. I did have to work out in makeup like face makeup and everything um so i need to go take that off because i don't know i feel like i might break out from it we'll just see i guess but i'm feeling good and i'm gonna have dinner put in my invisalign and then i want to i need to import the photos and check my emails things like that i already got a lot done though this morning so i'm pretty good but i just want to like double check everything before I kind of check out for the I have a home renovation update for my downstairs, uh, my living room. So we added in crown molding and window valances, a new rug came in. I believe I shared that in the previous vlog and I got a new coffee table. And so these clips are all filmed over like a period of time. I wasn't sure when the best time to insert them in the vlog was, so I figured now. So in the following clips, we have a big living room update I'm so excited about it and then I'm sharing plans for my next home project which is upstairs in my loft. Okay, so here is the before of the table. It's just this little Ikea table. It's very cute, but it's from my mom's old apartment. It doesn't suit the room. I'm so excited for this West Elm one to come in. I really hope that it suits the space. Um, I'll be moving the couch back quite a bit, like maybe a foot and a half so that there will be more room for the table if it doesn't fit here. So I just need to clear this way and then hopefully in the next clip, the new table will be here. Okay, the table is here and it looks so beautiful. I I love it so much. It's the perfect proportions for the couch and this is going to all get moved up quite a bit. Um, I need to like Windex this and clean it up, but I'm so happy with it. I'm not gonna do that till the rest of the valances are finished. So the valances are now up and, and I love how they look. So beautiful. So the only thing is um, my mom is going to bring the curtains out so there's not this gap on either side. It's so exciting to me to have this room really coming together. I mean, it's such a beautiful space. I love it and I love I just love the monochromatic. I think it looks so cute. And just being able to like have this truly be a focal point in the space. That's one thing I loved about the house was this wall. It's so beautiful. And with the crown molding now, and then the fireplace, and then the TV will come up. Um, and the valances, it just, it, it looks so, so good. I'm so pleased with it. I, I can't wait for, um, I can't wait for it to all like come together. So um, he still has to do a few like touch-ups um, on the paint for like the valances and the crown and fill in some stuff. And then the TV will get moved up and then we can start decorating the space. So I'm so excited. All right, so these books are not, they need to be straightened up quite a bit, but I've just been playing around with it. So I kind of went from pink so I did pink here, and then I wanted to do orange, but I thought this was the perfect kind of middle man to transition from pink and orange because it has both, and then yellow, and then the dark, uh, the darker orange. Pink is up there, and then like a beige, and then I'll continue it off, or 
I think it'd be cool to do like more bowls and stuff like that inside. Um, I'm just so excited to be able to like style this and just seeing all of my books. Um, a lot of these are antiques and um, I love to get antique books whenever I travel somewhere. So this is from Barcelona. This is from my first trip to London. This cute Winnie the Pooh one is something that my best friend, uh, she got me for one of my birthdays. And I just, I love these kind of things. So then I have over here, just kind of did this last half. Um, we have another stack of books. So the Roses book is also from my best friend from my most recent birthday. And then we have a couple like two from my first trip to paris or maybe you know what no this is from my first trip to paris i got this at gallery lafayette and i love it it's like a, a planner but i just love the colors i mean how beautiful it's all lottery i mean come on now it's so gorgeous So this, stunning, it's so beautiful. And then this is a book, I don't remember where I got this, possibly in, oh, it looks like in the UK. Thought that was cute, so it's like the pink and the green transition, and then I love this book. I love anything garden, floral, pink, so this garden party book, I believe I actually got this um, when I took my mom to Paris for one of our birthdays. And then I just have, these are from Ikea, um, I love them and so is the candle and then we have the Dictique Roses candle. This is the best one. It's my favorite. Um, back here is another book. So I got this um, in Scotland and I love it. Oh, let me make sure it's in focus and I love it. It's so stunning and then these are just two little hearts. Um, and then I have this cute little arrangement and I love this um, this cup that it's in this vase it's so cool and deco and this just like perfectly complements the room and then these are from a store in paul's bow called abigail's artful abode um it's where i got my amazing art deco dining table from here it is <laughs> so beautiful she refurbishes a lot of the furniture then we have princess diana book i love 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 princess diana i have lots of books about her um and yeah so i just think that this is now so cute to have some color and just to be able to start to have surfaces to decorate on um i love just having a bunch of stuff on things <laughs> i love it um i love the cluttered look especially when it's all like so coordinated well and sentimental and having a coffee table where i not only can style the surface but underneath is my dream <laughs> like i love it the next step for my house is putting molding up in the loft room so this kind of thing and the window balances and then i'm going to be having a shelving unit a built-in built along the stretch of um a wall so let me show you the wall okay so now we are in my loft and i love this room it's like one of the first ones that I kind of completed decorating. It still has a lot of work to do. And once there's molding in here, it will be so beautiful as well. Um, so along this wall, I'm going to have a built-in created. So I'm really excited. I don't know the design yet. I would love there to be like bookshelves, but then some kind of counter surface thing and then um, cabinets that open and close. That was my home reno update and I also have one other thing I want to include in this vlog but I know it's only going to be interesting to like 2% of people. It's a dress haul of beautiful beautiful dresses that I bought when I was in New York City. This was a shopping trip I had been saving up for and like working to get these dresses. So I want to share it because they're really unique, they're girly, they're feminine, they fit my aesthetic so well. I filmed the haul actually before I left for the photo shoot yesterday, but I was like, we're gonna do the photo shoot first because if I do like a dress haul before the session, people aren't gonna be as interested to continue watching, so I'm like, let's do it now. Here's the haul. If you don't care to watch, I understand that's why I put it at the end, so just be sure that you hit subscribe so you're the first to know when new free tutorials for your photography business come out. 
and let's get into what I bought. Here's the dress that I'm wearing today. It's from Abercrombie. I wasn't sure about the color pink, but it's the perfect color pink. I wasn't sure if it would be too cool toned or anything, but I love it. It has pockets. I love it so much that I bought it in the blue color, and then I'm also gonna get it in the black. I love the sleeves, but they're not like overbearing. And I'm gonna turn my camera to this side a little bit, but they go perfectly with these cute little suede sandals and look at the pink is like the perfect color match um but you could also do like tennis shoes definitely size up one make sure that you have a slip for this because you cannot get away with just wearing this you need a slip you guys from reformation i got this dress i love it i love it now it is lined but you still will need to do like shapewear with it um at least like nude underwear because you can see through this so i would definitely say to make sure you do um like full shapewear to cover your butt and everything but this is really really cute i love this pattern now reformation made a dress and i believe they still do in a similar cut i'm sure it was actually the same cut because i think this is one of their top sellers but it was in like a toile kind of like toile de jo fabric or whatever it's called um and it was a linen but and they had lots of other options for a similar pattern but i really love this one because it looks more watercolor it's so cute it has these ties now i need to i just gave this a steam and i took the i completely undid the ties but i'm gonna need to press this actually so i'm gonna need my mom to like properly do it because when i tried it on it didn't have this like little gaping or anything definitely overpriced this should have been like 150 um but i paid the price because i've just been looking for a sundress like this midi length but that wasn't didn't have sleeves or anything I love this pattern so to me it was worth it because it's something I've wanted for a while and it, it checked all the boxes but I do think it's overpriced so I'm sure that there are other options out there um, there's this line actually on Bloomingdale's it's called Agua or something like that Aqua and they have a couple of kind of similar styles I'll have one link down below so you can kind of go from there um, and you know what? I bet they're about the same quality. This isn't anything spectacular. And that's the thing with Reformation. They have cute pieces, but the quality just, there's so many like mini dresses that are cute, but they're not lined. It's just like a piece of cotton. And there's like, where is this pricing coming from? And it's like with Reformation, I feel like they have this big thing about being sustainable, but in reality, like the only thing I've seen is that they really use dead stock fabric which is like extra fabric that is sold um, from other like designers who don't use it and it's sustainable. But to me, nothing else that they do sustainability wise merits the higher price tag because you have other brands like Everlane um, that are doing the same kind of thing and they're cheaper. So it's definitely an overpriced piece. And this isn't, unfortunately, this isn't something you could wear to like a wedding, but it's still something you could dress up like with these cute little shoes or do like tennis shoes with, honestly. Another thing too with the Reformation dresses, just make sure that you're paying attention to like where, you know, the seams are going and like how the pattern is falling on that. On this dress, I feel like it looks pretty good. It's not seamless or anything. It's not going to be. Uh, most dresses wouldn't be, but you can like just make sure that you if you find one that you has like a big white gape right here and then the patterns around and then pattern starts so you just don't like the way that it falls just ask to see another dress um because they're all gonna vary and this one needs a little bit more of a steam but just want to share this so i'll have this link down below and then i'll also link that listing for kind of like that dupe if you will i got this dress and the following ones in new york city this is a brand that i've wanted for a long time I mean, everything about this, it's beautiful quality. It's the most expensive dress that I bought and I've saved for all of these. And I was in Intermix randomly on Madison Avenue. Never gone in there, but I, something about it piqued my interest. Um, and they had this hanging on the rack. They had it in my size. And so I just, I love it. So when I went to New York and I knew I was gonna go shopping for some sundresses, I had like certain ones that I had always had my eye out on. Um, I've been Googling for like cornflower blue sundress and this matched it perfectly it's cornflower blue it's so cute even like look at it with these shoes so 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 cute it's so so fun and it's just beautiful like the details so beautiful right this pattern real quick before um i change into the next couple ones i am going to show you guys the slips slips shapewear whatever 
um, they all really can enhance the way that the clothes are falling on your body. So slips can help you be able to not see through the dress, but then also just having it fall nicely on your legs and it won't like stick to you. So whether you're buying a dress like this or a dress from, you know, Abercrombie, having the proper undergarments is really what's going to elevate your look and also make you feel so much more um, comfortable. So here are two slips that I just bought on Amazon. I'll link them below. Um, and then additionally, my other favorite place to get shapewear is from Spanx. So this is the first slip. This is the beige color, but it's definitely leans more white or like ivory. Um, and it's for mini skirts. And then I bought this um, because I had bought a commando one. Um, from Nordstrom and it kept riding up. It was like a stretchy fabric and it wasn't long enough to not continue riding up. So I got this on Amazon. It's like bamboo cotton and I like that this one is a v-neck. The one on Commando was a, a whatever, a scoop neck. Um, and I don't like that I could see a little bit of it with my dresses. Plus you couldn't really adjust the, um, the straps too much. So this one you can adjust down um, and this one goes much longer than the commando one, so it's not gonna ride up. My next three dresses are from Love Shack Fancy. It's always so fun to go into their store, so I went to the Madison Avenue one. Now, this one I have my slip on under, and I need to like pull it up or bring it in, maybe sew it in a little bit, because you can see it like ever so slightly on the bottom, but it also kind of blends with the dress. Um, but otherwise, you would see straight through this, and that's not the vibe. And I just have a normal strapless bra on with it. On my list was a white, sundress you know how you google white sundress and a lot of them are like crocheted or they have a lot of lace detail but it feels a lot more bohemian well that's not my personal style and so it was a bit hard to find one also i wanted a certain fabric that wasn't like that abercrombie dress that wrinkles um and so anyway i found this one and i love it look at the shoulder detail so cute in every way i mean oh my goodness it's always such a fun experience for me to go there as well. They're always super nice and helpful. Um, and there's just so many ways that I can style this. Again, I have it with my cute pink sandals. Um, oh my goodness. Of all of the dresses that I bought, this actually is my favorite. Okay, the blue one is my favorite. But this is my favorite in terms of a dress that I will wear like on a weekly bait, Like not weekly, but like during the weekdays, right? I love this. I mean, oh my gosh, look at this. So you have this really cute print of the bows and then it switches to the roses and the neck is really high. So it's going to like protect you from the sun. And because the neck is high, then the sleeves are like going to stay up. I just love it. And they had it with this little ribbon on the display. <laughs> they put it on. It was so cute. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Oh my gosh, I just, I love this. You definitely have to still wear a slip with it. Look at the different tiers and how the tiers have the ruffles. It's so, so, so cute. So when I was shopping, I was like, I'm not gonna get any more maxi or midi length dresses. I have, that's the majority of my wardrobe and I wanted shorter ones, um, but I couldn't pass this up. I mean, come on now. And this is a dress um, that you can, even the white one, even the Abercrombie one, you can put it in the wash on delicate and you don't have to take it to get dry cleaned. So this one is so, so much fun. I love it. I just think it's so cute. Last one from Love Shack Fancy. This dress is very short. You cannot, like I, I cannot wear heels actually with it or it's gonna show my butt, but for the sake of the video, it's okay. Um, this is like a tennis shoe dress, but it's so cool. I love this pink. I love like the drop waist and I love this like cross stitching pattern with the green and look at the lace. So, so cute. So my mom's like, you should try to find a slip that has like an extra layer of ruffle, but maybe like a dark green just to make it a bit longer because it is pretty short. Um, especially if I wanted to wear it with like these kind of sandals or something. But I just think that this is so cute. I mean, look at the puff sleeve, look at like the lace. And I just love how with the dresses that I got at least, like they all, all the sleeves, and even though they're that puff with the elastic, they don't sit low, so they're gonna stay up on your shoulder, protect it from the sun. That was the haul. Be sure that you hit subscribe so you're the first to know when new free tutorials for your business come out. In the next video, I will be doing a update on my garden. My mom has planted so many amazing, beautiful flowers, 
trees and plants in the yard and I also got um, a new furniture piece that will be delivered by next Thursday. It's a really cool vintage reclaimed, it's two pieces put together from my favorite store in Paulsbo, Washington called Details Home and Garden. So I love Abigail's Artful Abode and then Details Home and Garden and they're right across the street from each other. It'll be a fun one, so I'll see you later. And I'll have an Invisalign update as well. So I'll see you then.